Why, hello there, my fellow scientists, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Floodland, Episode 4, Turn to Science. All right, this Pathfinder camp is full, so I'm going to send them home. Is there a penalty to not accepting them? No matter what you do, there's a lot of, like, penalty for A and penalty for B. So accept, not accepting them initially will piss you off, and accepting them and vanishing will piss you off. So it's like, well, and then accepting them and keeping them will piss you off. So it's like, all three will piss you off. And I just wanted to show, uh, one of the reasons to add them is if you don't add them, it will actually in the top left in assignments, it will pin them to be like, go add them, go add them. So it's, it's so that you're not constantly annoyed by like the prompts of adding them to your community. It's best to just add them and banish them because the amount of unrest that it gives you is like negligible. So don't don't go to places that potentially have you adding people if your unrest is particularly high because it might push it to a critical moment um, and that would be bad. But like most of the time, if you're just careful about who you add, you're not gonna have uh, really high unrest. Uh, so we do have a wood cutting station which allows us to cut wood into planks and oh, that perfectly fits right there. So I'll put it right there. And then I'm going to need my uh, pathfinders to scavenge for food. Because we are hurting for it. Can pathfinders upgrade their carry cap? Um, So there is some law committees to allow you to specialize in your pathfinder companies. Uh, so in this case... It mostly makes them faster at collecting. And then there's technologies in exploration to make them faster at moving. So instead of carrying more, they just move around faster, which is effectively kind of the same end result, which is more goods moved over a preset amount of time. But no, there's no like, we have bigger baskets. It's more, we're just faster. Uh, my food looks bad. So where are, where are those pathfinders? Now, if you're wondering, I am able to fish. So actually, I think I am going to fish at just reduced efficiencies, given the uh, the megafauna that are like, for all intents and purposes, haunting my fish facilities, but it's better to have a little fish than no fish at all, because the um, the shellfish hosts that you guys, that I had queued up are just not built yet. Um, and in any case, you guys wanted me to go the um, soybean and milling route. So I will get around to that eventually. In fact, let's cancel that one. Refund all the materials and, and then um, be able to reinvest. So once my influence goes to, I think 50, gives me turn to science. Yeah, uh, I will enact turn to science, which is a really powerful law. Yes, you can just ignore buildings that potentially offer you people and, and it will always warn you ahead of time. Okay, so they're home with almost no food. Um, new expedition for 21 days. And go, these look like houses, so go here. And I hope to find food there so that I can bring the food back. So the current priority is, uh, Scavenge for food. Oh, we're having people starting to steal food because of the desperation. That's not good. Yeah, when resources are really low and limited, uh, people start to get desperate and desperate people start to commit crimes. So we'll have to tamp down on that soon by either adding food or adding police. I'd like to add food rather than police. 
personally. The other thing that I could do is every now and then there will be berries and the like that are harvestable. So I can have my stockpile workers just collect whatever berries are out here in order to keep us tied over until the fish event goes away. But with any luck, my pathfinders will be able to... Ooh, wow, they stole a lot of food out of the stockpile. That's not cool, guys. Don't make me enact police. I'd rather not. E.T. on the fish? So there is unrest, which is causing grime. Um, maybe a day or two. It passes relatively quick. Alright, so here we go. Um... I don't see any risky food in these houses, unfortunately, so this is not the answer we were looking for. There is, however, uh, collectible berries, but it's not going to be much. It's mostly wood and rubbish and medication. Herbs. No, there's, there's some berries over here. I was hoping that there'd be more uh, food resources. Just ain't. Crime has dropped. Good. Good, good, good. I think for now, just as a stopgap measure, I do have enough resources for another shell post. So I'll set up another shell post. Uh, and then eventually diversify towards farming and milling and baking. But I gotta do something for now. So it's built, and fire one, two, three, four, and employ one, two, three, four. So the houses themselves, unfortunately, don't really have food in them. Wow, that house has a lot of resources. But, uh, but at least there's, there's plants and the like uh, in the surrounding area that we can collect. And nobody's starving yet. We're just on the brink of starving. Or, no, I wouldn't say we're on the brink of starving. We're, we don't have any excess food. But nobody's actually hungry. I haven't gotten uh, starvation warnings or anything like that. And this Pathfinder camp has uh, some rations. Okay, the monster fish infestation went away. And I'm going to have these explorers search the interesting places and then come home. Research. I am saving up for scrap, I think. Well, let me, let me check my other options here. So growth, I can get nothing. Survival. Nothing. Exploration. S Pathfinder speed can't boost, but I'm going to save up for scrap. Yeah, okay. Scrap it is. 
Why am I not using the research materials? Because I plan on enacting a law that allows me to make research passively off of it. Left to rot. Uh, okay, so what is this? It is a person left to rot, and I'm gonna do everything that we can to help her. So, Burkut got upset, but I did not upset uh, Fire Brigade. And this is an article about a heat wave in Africa. And someone in this Pathfinder camp just got the flu. Or a fever, at least. Okay, they are completely full of resources, so I will send them home. Really soon, I'm going to have the influence to pass that um, science law. There we go. Well, that will keep us uh, afloat for a bit. And I'm going to immediately re-send out this excursion. Uh... Trying to figure out if there's a point of interest around here that uh, looks hopeful for food. Because you can get, um, uh, maybe over here by the factory ruins. You never know. Okay, so the person left to rot ended up dying, but they did give me an old world relic as a result. Eased her passing, in other words. Uh, we do have a current epidemic. There's nine cases, and it's a moderate disease. Um, although I was trying to save up for scrap, I think I am going to need to get a herbal station instead. So an herbal station allows you to make medication, and this current epidemic is probably going to require me to uh, to make meds. And I'm going to set it right up. Nope, it doesn't fit. Uh, right there. And this is my top priority building. I don't have the woodcutting planks for it, so I'm going to employ one person or maybe two people to start cutting those planks. Oh, one more influence, and I will have back to uh, back to science. Where's my pathfinders? So this new herbal station turns herbs into medicine. I have 220 herbs and 12 medicine, so I have plenty of uh, plenty of medicine. I'm going to fire the two people working in the herbal station and deploy both of them into the herbal station, or the wood cutting to the herbal, rather. Because yeah, this epidemic's getting out of out of hand. I now have more people in hospital beds than I have beds, so we're going to want to cure them as fast as we can. The other thing I could do, although I was saving up for Turn to Science, because it's going to really help with our research rate, is enact social distancing, which reduces the current spread uh, by 25%, or centralized health services, uh, which increase the efficiency of medical hospitals, and hence, the problem with this one is it reduces the capacity by 40%. So if I did this one, I would need to um, build more hospitals to accommodate for their loss of uh, capacity. And I, yeah, maybe I go that route. I'm going to build some temporary med tents. And we're just going to triage this as best as we can. (laughs) 
So I'm gonna pass the turn to science law anyway. So what this does is for every five old war relics available in stock, I gain one research per day. Really good way to make research passively as I scout. So now my research rate uh, has gone up a lot as a result. And then the next law I pass will be related to health, provided that I still need it. So I'm going to cancel one of these clinics. Or two, of, uh, Yeah, two of the clinics. It's actually being cured a little bit more easily than I thought it would. Now one thing I could do is um, specialize people. So I'm going to do just that. I think what I'm going to do is have... Burkut specialize in erudite. So I'm going to turn my study that was doing academic debate into an academy. I only have two people working from Burkut working there, so that the experience of turning these textbooks will definitely be granted to Burkut. And, um, and I'm going to have them learn erudition as a specialty. I'll have them be precision and erudition, and then have uh, fire brigade be something else. How close is my camp to arriving? Oh, yeah, they're almost there. Pathfinder Camp, please tell me you got some good resources here. Not top choice, but not terrible. Might be something more interesting to their west. We'll see. Currently, I have nine sick people and capacity for 15, so I'll add more med tents if we require it, but it looks pretty good for now. Oh, don't do standard mode. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Ugh. Just used up my, uh, my relics that I didn't want them to use. Relationship between them two are gaining. Turn to science hurts the relationship uh, once it's positive, uh, but I will pass pass laws to help smooth their relationships out soon. A doll named Mandy. Uh, I'm going to leave the doll where it is because that's going to make... Fire Brigade happy. How full is this camp? 500? I'm gonna reload the camp uh, next to this factory here. See what's going on uh, over there. And one more textbook, and we should be able to specialize for cut, allowing us to take area addition as a specialty. It's just a big old habitable factory. It's a point of interest, but it just has a memo in it. 
about a DIY machine. This chimney has flour in it, though. I don't have baking tech yet, but once I do, that will be nice to have. Just keep making meds. Just keep making meds. And I should be able to specialize. Yep, there we go. So, going over to Rakut, I will give them Airy Edition, level one. And then I'm going to turn this back to Academic Debate. I'm actually going to close one of these studies. And then put two more Rakut in here in the specialized Airy Edition role allowing me to make meds faster. And that should keep up with the current sickness that we've got going on. Uh, they are low on rations, so I gotta send them home before too long, or they'll starve. This silo... Oh, this silo has rations. I'm just not close enough to the... Uh, let me relocate the camp close to this silo and grab the rations so I don't have to send them home just yet. Except, there might not be room here. Nope. <laughs> There's literally not enough room to set up camp there. What if I did here? That should be close enough to the silo. Just move 100 feet to the left. Nope, still not close enough. Okay, come home or you'll starve. I don't want you to die. The food at home is uh, good, but could be better. I'm going to unlock kitchen tech. That will help out a lot. We have a lot of uh, risky food, but not a lot of cooked food. But if I build kitchens, I can be able to cook the food. And that actually has me wanting to specialize my... Uh, fire Brigade. So I'm going to add the Fire Brigade specialty as Expression, which allows them to work in kitchens and bakeries better, because you guys wanted me to do kitchen and bakery um, tech. So the two workers currently in this study are, are Fire Brigade, and they will be working to specialize that. And that way we'll have more processed food. And now I'm going to save up research for scrap. <laughs> I keep having to address crises, which keeps pushing back the scrap ETA. Well, that's what a good administrator does sometimes. Put out the biggest fire first. Uh, I could pass new laws. Let's go to law committee. So, balanced work schedule would give me... Uh, let's have you guys vote. Balanced work schedule. That would allow me to get a little bit more bang for my buck out of bonfire and canteen. But people do eat more food and drink more water as a result. Um, I could also enact public space, which increases the amount of slots that recreation buildings have. I could unlock to protect the family instead. And what this does, it's mutually exclusive with uh, public space, so I can pick one or the other. And let me hide the UI so you can read it a little bit better. 
But uh, what this does is, if clan relations are neutral or worse, modify the value by plus one every time they change. If clan relations are good, modify the value plus two every time they change. Basically, it helps to build up a relationship between Burkut and Fire Brigade. And then sometimes people will take extra food, scrap wood to celebrate family occasions. Uh, so that's what Protect the Family is. The strongest, in my opinion, law to help between two clans is sharing space. Um, so you don't necessarily need to worry about voting for laws that are really good for, um, for relationships just yet. Like public space is totally doable. Plus, um, cultural education also increases clan relations between people as well, which is off of the public space tree, whereas Protect the Family has um, more traditionalism and private property and things like that, which is more for unrest. So public space is more for relations and Protect the Family is more for unrest. Uh, then the other one I would consider doing would be centralized health services. which increases the effectiveness of my med tents and hospitals, but decreases the capacity. So, have you vote on that? Give me two and a half minutes. So there, the poll is up. And the current disease that I got afflicted by has been defeated. We're good. I made it. And I am actually going to blow up this extra med tent. So I'm down from three to two. Expedition's back. And I can't send them out immediately because I don't have the water. So I'm going to have them hang out here while I, crazy enough, add yet another still. Oh, what I could do is uh, unlock this house with one of the lockpicks that I have and then grab the water from that house. And then once we have the water from the house, I'll just break the house down, freeing up more room. Fire Brigade is ready to develop, so I'm going to give them expression. And then switch this back to Academic Debate. Add more people. And then with their expression, I'll be able to employ them in the kitchen um, to work faster than the, than the standard worker. And this should help to process the risky food into safe food so that nobody gets poisoned. And you can re-specialize. So you can go up to like level three. Uh, expression gets higher and higher and higher to become more and more efficient. Uh, one of the reasons not to do that is there's some laws that cap the level uh, of, of specialization, but you don't necessarily have to pass those laws. So a law might be like, oh, precision is capped to level two. And if you have your clan specialized at level three, you're losing out on one of those specialization levels. So in this new day, with the two kitchens at full blast, we should see a surge of safe food. And then as soon as we get this extra water still, we should see a surge of water. And it looks like we're going to pass public space. Got it. So that allows for the canteens and the bonfires to accommodate seven people at a time instead of five. I think instead of uh, right now at this point, instead of saving up for more food tech, uh, I very much need better water tech. So I'm going to unlock water purifier because the amount of people that I have gathering water right now is absurd.
and I'm going to get three water purifiers built. Uh, which should be, once they're built, enough to accommodate everyone. Especially given that I'll, I have area addition for Burkut 3, and I'll be able to hire them in the water purifiers to work more efficiently. So the old water purifiers were getting 17.5 daily for two people, and this is getting 28.1 daily for two people. I know I have to read it because of the overlight. Let me hide that. It's gone. All right, so once we uh, shore up our food and water situation, I'm going to head back to the gatehouse and open up the power plant. Oh, what are we waiting on? We're waiting on builders. Yeah. So what's a relationship now? Eh, it's going up. It's almost halfway up. Alright, I'm going to close this water still and close this water still. And then have the people that were fired moved over to the ones that are just adjacent to the stock room. And we should see our water shoot up quickly. Uh, next law. So you're only allowed to pass laws like I think every four days. So it's it's going to be locked for another day. But I can have you pulled on it. Cultural education. So cultural education allows for the relationship between um, between clans to improve. Uh, obli obligatory healthcare is a nice one. It increases the influence for all clans as long as social services is built in the district. So it's sort of like social security. Uh, then we could also do night shifts. Oh, I have... I, I need to revoke night shifts, actually. Um, or don't need to, but... Or we could do balance work schedule. Uh, centralized health services. I didn't think I had, uh... Night shifts enacted. I don't remember doing that. But it causes more unrest, so I'm going to want to remove that. So here's a case where the Burkut leader is asking me to actually pass the water savings law. And it will cause people to drink 25% less water. And then if they are thirsty, like if I run out of water, it becomes a problem. So, sorry, game trumps your decision here. Uh, I'm going to pass water saving. Because that's what Burkut wanted. But uh, you guys wanted balanced work schedule, so next time there's a law to be able to enact, I will pass it. It looks like our food and water is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good indeed. So I'm going to pull a fisherman off of each wharf, and then one of these shellfish people out of the shellfish post. Schedule them for 10 days and then head back to the nuclear power plant gate. As that is the main quest. Oh, my forger. I'm going to uh, fire one of the foragers as well. Because there's not enough things to forge around the area.
And then currently I'll save up for scrap. I think probably getting to the front gate and completing the uh, story assignment is gonna give me enough research to be un able to unlock scrap technology, which is uh, gonna be quite nice. Good neighbors forced me to unlock night shift. Yeah, I think that might have been the case. It's weird that uh, neither of my people wanted and acted, but I can't revoke it at the moment. <laughs> Whatever. Not, not too. I'm not too worried. The amount of unrest that both of my clans have is zero, so night shifts aren't actually making them upset. So why fix something that isn't broken? In other words. So here's the camp, and with the key pass, I'll be able to open up the gatehouse. Done. So the next thing it wants me to do is to establish storage near the turbine area. The turbine is uh, back here. So in order to do that, I need a very specific uh, research project called District Maker. District Maker allows my Pathfinders to create new districts. And then I'm also going to need Peer as well. So I'm going to need uh, Camp Speed Boost, District Maker, and Peer. Peer requires me to have Scrap, so I have to get Scrap first. And then after Scrap, I'm going to get uh, Pathfinder Speed Boost. But uh, District Maker will be in 10 research, and then Peer in 20 research. Or 20 total, I should say. Um, for me to be able to get uh, in here. So I think what I'll do is have these guys poke around the power plant for now. Crimson Rust, thank you for gifting out a sub. Yeah, I guess they're chill working night shifts, so I'm not gonna... I'm not going to fix it for them. <laughs> and there is uh, there is stuff to search and and uh, and obtain here. So while my Pathfinder's out here, I might as well get as many Old World Relics as I can. Because Old World Relics gives increases my passive research speed, which is mm, quite nice to have. Because for every five, I make another research passively. Which is very nice. These stations here don't have a lot of resources. But what they do have is important resources like steel and batteries. Uh, it doesn't fill up the Pathfinder camp, like, at all, which is really nice. So we can grab just, like, tons of it. My attention is needed. Death and Rebirth, a clipped excerpt from a very old magazine. Uh, searching some of these areas can get you sick. So, um, like, for instance... Going into this industrial chimney and unlocking it using electronic chips has a risk of loss of consciousness and a chance, a 55% chance of developing a moderate disease. So there are some risks delving into these facilities. But you know, I'm good. I'm good taking those risks. Uh, we can pass a new law. Let's do balanced work schedule. That's what you guys wanted. Sty, thank you for the resub. And a goodbye letter. Stilt platforms are really cool. They allow you to, to connect two islands together. Um, but I, I want to work on the, the quest assignment first. But I'll be adding new districts soon. Oh, 
So we have so many cooks now that uh, I don't have room for them to cook anymore. So I'm going to close one of these kitchens down. And employ... Oh, I'm also going to close the herbal station. Because I literally don't have any herbs left. Although I can gather some. And I'll employ those guys elsewhere. I don't have meaningful... Oh, uh, I can put them in my research for academic debate. Oh, one person just developed weakness while searching the ruined power station. Thank you for tuning in to Floodland, which originally streamed live on Twitch November 16th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that the series has since ended. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you in the next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.